Yo, what's going on guys? It is Tom and welcome back to a brand new video in episode number 9 of Career Mode. And as you can see, we are here for the Austrian Grand Prix doing the track acclimatization. First thing in practice, there are no upgrades to apply to the car, so um, there's nothing to show you before this session. So we're jumping straight into it here for Friday practice. And as you can see, we've beaten our first target of the points that was asking, which I think was 205. And we actually come across to smash the secondary target also of 240. Now, um, I can say, I really struggled to get this target. Sorry, 280 points. I thought it was 240, but 280 points. I really struggled to get that target. It took me, you know, it took me over two days to try and get that right because it was really frustrating. Because basically, I was getting green gates on a straight line. It made no sense whatsoever. I'm, I'm sure um, some of you who have done Austria might understand what I'm on about. But it's very frustrating to get the track acclimatization perfect around this track. But uh, as you can see right now, we're doing the tire wear test, and uh, we got having a couple of issues with Kevin Magnussen, which actually led us to having a red gate and a very very poor lap there. But eventually, we did manage to succeed and get both of the targets that we needed, especially the main one, and we managed to smash it right on the last lap there. So we managed to get away with it. But Austria definitely proving to be a very challenging track to get the R&D because uh, you know the, t the track is kind was very difficult and also the tire wear test and even the qualifying test the best I could do as you can see is a target I've just beaten which was for ninth place um, that's the best I could do I could not improve on that lap so that was going to be practice and overall some pretty decent and pretty valuable resource points considering how tough that practice session was to actually get the points that I wanted and the results that I wanted so um, as you can see we're moving into qualifying and it's actually wet now if you guys have watched obviously most of the races this season you will know that the AI in the wet aren't the greatest and we're actually pretty quick in this hard car in the wet conditions so this was a blessing in disguise for us because this is an ultimate AI guys we're permanently on ultimate AI and this is very very challenging now and I was starting to struggle for pace around here in the dry I really did not have any one lap pace whatsoever however in qualifying on the intermediates we managed to get a good enough lap there to get us I believe in P5 and finish Q1 there quite comfortably within the top five beating our teammates so pretty decent Q1 session there but uh, we're going to move into Q2 where things got a little bit more interesting now um the rain did go away and it meant that we was on dry tyres so I really had to give it 110% to try and get through now as you can see the first lap only gets us P13 and that was me really pushing and at this point I'm starting to worry because we just can't find the pace however I went out for one more lap and we are just under half a second up and that lap was good enough just to get us through into Q3 in P10 just scraping through even though it was only 7 tenths off of Verstappen's fastest time we just scraped through in P10 and we move all the way into Q3 where we actually extend horribly in turn 8 and we have a pretty poor lap actually in Q3 and it's going to be a one and only lap because we used all of our ultra softs and we come across the line and we actually qualify in P8 for the Austrian Grand Prix so not a great qualifying lap 9 tenths off of the pace and uh, overall not a great lap but we're going to hopefully try and carry some better momentum into the race as you may see Grosjean they qualified in second so an incredible qualifying result for him so if out both of the Haas cars can get to the top 6 this race that would be absolutely fantastic crucially I need to try and beat Grosjean and Ricardo, which are both of my rivals so we're going to try and do that right now so we're going to jump straight into the Austrian Grand Prix and let's see if we can try and get a decent result on Ultimate AI for the second time this season Right, so here we are then. It is race day for the Austrian Grand Prix. And I can tell you, you might have seen some really angry tweets from just a minute ago. And um, I'm having to do this straight again. I got to lap 31 out of 36 in what was my best race of on this game. Without a shadow of a doubt. And my game crashed. So I've got to re-record this. And I hope it's the sort of race that I just had. So I'm not going to babble on. We're going to jump right into it and hope that we can get a result because rain is expected towards the end of the race. So let's jump right into the Austrian Grand Prix. Right, so here we go then. The five red lights are coming on now. We're going to try and find some optimal revs here. Try and get it absolutely perfect. Then we're going to get underway for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's a very quick fifth flight and it goes out straight away. The full scene there behind me getting a great start. Got to try and block him off as we make our way into the first corner for the first time this race. Trying to get a good run through here. Make sure that we defend our position. And we're now going to try and race all the way up to turn two. And let's see what we can do on, into the braking zone and up the inside of that corner here. A little bit far away for now, but we're going to try and dive on the brakes. But uh, we can't actually make the move because Vettel's decided to make a move instead so we're just going to prepare ourselves for the switch back and to try and get the traction as we have done there as you can see getting past both of the ferraris a brilliant switch back there and uh, so far Grosjean's in the walls at the moment trying to re-overtake Lewis Hamilton as you can see going into turn three let's try to pick up some scraps here as we run a little bit deep to switch back and try and get a run on Rosberg possibly can we get the traction we're going to try and run out a little bit wide to try and scare him off a little bit but he's having absolutely none of it can we go around the outside of turn five on Nico Rosberg here Oh, can we make it stick? He's holding the inside on us. We're going to try and make it work, though. Around the outside now of turn six, and there's no room through. And Rosberg holds on to P5 for the time being there. But a great little battle already on the first lap. 
Oh, we've got a great run on Rosberg here. Wasn't expected it. I just took the corner as I normally would. But we just got such good drive and traction through the corner. And it looks like we're going to make the move here on the Mercedes driver. And yes, we do. Just about edge him out on the brakes. And we go up the inside to just hold up the position. And there we go. We're up in the P5. So um, a bit of a move out of nowhere. But uh, we made it stick there. So now we can try and hunt down Ricardo. Oh, Rojan's run out really wide through there, and so is Ricardo. We're going to get them both. So, a double overtake there. Ricardo going up the inside of Grosjean, running in a little bit deep himself. And we've got ourselves up in the P3 now, so we just seem to be making such strides in this race. And the Haas car really working well so far, and just keeping out of the incidents. Oh, safety car. Okay, that came out of nowhere. So, we've got a safety car. So, um, I'm trying to think what to do for strategy now. So, what should we do? I think I'm going to... Go on to a set of uh, super softs anyway and just make it work. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to go on to a set of super softs and just drag those out a little bit. But uh, safety cars are completely changing how this Grand Prix is going to shape up. Right, here we go into the pit lane. We're going to try and push the pit entry a little bit, see if we can gain some time. And uh, I think this should be legal. So, here we go. Everyone's coming to the pit lane, I think. So, yeah, absolutely everybody's in. And we're just going to come to the pit lane now and hit our marks. Take it nice and easy. Make sure we don't speed. And we've actually gained quite a bit of time on uh, Max and also Lewis. And it looks like Grosjean's in behind us. So it looks like Grosjean's going to lose a little bit of time here in the safety car phase. But it's absolute chaos here in the pit lane. And it's going to be a question of is the lollipop going to stay down or is he going to stay up? So hopefully we don't get held up for too long. And we're out straight away. And we've jumped Max Verstappen. And we're just on the back of Lewis Hamilton. So that's a fantastic pit stop. Now we just try. We need to try and stay behind Lewis on the pit exit here to make sure we don't lose any places. And he's on soft tyres. So that's crucial for us but uh, we've rejoined just behind Lewis and just ahead of Harry Anto so that's crucial so we're basically in a net second place and on super soft tyres compared to Lewis's soft so a great strategy call there Right, so we've got the safety car restart here. The safety car's pulled in. We're going to go green, and we're going to try and get be aggressive on the restart here. We're in rich mix, so we're going to push as hard as we can. And here we go. We are green. We've had a pretty poor restart. Not really responding as good as I would have liked, but uh, we're on super soft. So now we need to try and utilize this tire and push as hard as we can. And hopefully we can try and get past this massive train of cars and get into the lead. And then maybe just try and pull out or what, pull out a gap on these tires and just push and do our own thing up front, which would be absolutely ideal. But uh, obviously it's never ideal in F1. But uh, as you can see, we're now still on the back of Hamilton here. Maybe can we try and make something happen into turn two, possibly? Yes, we can. Hamilton breaks really early. So does signs, and I make a double move up the inside. Hamilton really catching me up with the braking there. Breaking much earlier than I anticipated. Could have easily lost an end plate, but uh, we got past him and made up two moves in one corner. So fantastic move there. And we're now on the back of Danny Kvyat. Oh, Kvyat's locked up. He's had a massive lockup. I thought his engine was going to break down there, but he's actually locked up. We've got past him straight away. And we can now go after Marcus Ericsson. So we're cutting through this field of cars like a hot knife through butter at the moment. Okay, these guys are going really, really slow. We should be able to make a move fairly easily on these guys. Obviously, they're towards the back end of the field, and uh, Ericsson's got no pace in that Sauber. So we should be able to make a move fairly easily into turn one here. We just get a little bit later on the brakes, and there we go, up the inside of the first corner. Textbook stuff, and we got past Ericsson. Now, can we try and get past Palmer? I think Ericsson actually caused a crash by rejoining the track. I'm not sure, but there's been a yellow flag back there. There's been, a, I think, a bit of a crash at turn one, but uh, can we make a move on Palmer here on the brakes? No, we can't, so we've got to sit back for now, but it shouldn't take too long to make a move on him as Rio Harianto is now out of the race, so Ericsson definitely caused a bit of a pile up there at turn one. Right, we need to make the move on Palmer now, so let's just try and get past him as soon as we can here. Try and get the run through this corner, which we have done, and we're all over his monkey seat. Can we try and make a move? We're going to pull to the inside. He's on soft tyres, so he's going a little bit slower than what he normally would, but we're going to go up the inside and make an easy move here. And there we go, up into P3 now, and the uh, Hulkenberg's in the lead, so if we get past him, we can just literally streak away into the distance, and we can go a bit more aggressive on tyre strategy, because um, rain, obviously, if you guys remember, is actually expected towards the end of the race, so we need to just basically wait out for that, so there's no need. Even even though we're under obligation to use the soft tyre, I'm probably going to go to a, on a, onto an ultra soft and uh, I'll see when the rain comes. But uh, there's no need to run the hardest tyre because the tyre rules have got the window as soon as the rain comes down. Meanwhile, making a move on K Mag here and we should be able to pick off Hulkenberg with some DRS assistance. So hopefully a two for the price of one here as we open up the rear flap for the first time this race because I was never close to anyone before in the first stint. And we are in rich mix and here we go up the inside of Nico Hulkenberg into turn three. Nice and late on the brakes. A little bit of a trail end braking system into turn three there but we get the move and we're into the lead of the race and now we can try and push on these super softs right i've decided to pit this lap so we're going to go into a set of softs 
and just play it safe. So that's going to be the plan of action. We do have a little bit of a cushion over Kofiak. We're going to come out behind him, but I'd like to come out very near to Hamilton. So we're going to push this pen tree as hard as we can, and we've absolutely nailed it. So all we can do now is hope that we get the best possible pit stop from the Hearth boys and then rejoin as quick as we can onto the track. So here we go. There's Kofiak, and I think Hamilton's just behind him. So we're actually going to be nowhere near these guys, but. Hopefully on these soft tyres we can make them work. We've had a great pit stop, so overall a great pit stop phase. We just need the hope that the guys on softs actually pit again and then we'll be in pretty good shape for the rest of the Grand Prix once the rain comes down. But here we go, we're going to rejoin just behind or just in front. I think just in front of Fernando Alonso there, so we've actually had an incident at the first corner. Someone's had an incident, but uh, we're going to rejoin in P7 just behind Sebastian Vettel. Here we go, I think we're going to make a move on Palmer straight away. He's really struggling on those warm soft tyres. And here we go, we're going to pull to the inside and make a move on the British driver up the inside of turn 8. Just taking the nice normal racing line. I mean, let's see if we try and catch and overtake Vettel on these fresh tyres. Here we go, then we've had a good run into turn 2. We've co-opted Vettel and now we're going to have DRS here and we should be able to get past him fairly easily here. He's going to go to the inside, go defensive, but I'm still going to take him. I think he's realised I'm going to make the move on him here. I'm just going to take the inside line for turn three, and there we go, up the inside of the four times world champion, and we can now try and hunt down Magnussen. All right, here we go. Same thing again. Great run into turn two. Just have to pick up the traction that we need, and we should be able to make a fairly easy move on Kevin Magnussen here. Here we go. Deres wide open. We're going to go to the inside, similar to Vettel. I'm just going to make a nice easy move on the brakes here. Make it nice and easy up the inside, and hope that Vettel stays behind Magnussen for at least a lap. So now we're going to try and hunt down Hulkenberg. All right, here we go. We're going to try and size up Hulkenberg for an overtake here. He's on a very worn soft tyres. He started the race on those tyres, I think. So here we go. We're going to make the move up the inside of turn eight. Just going to take the inside line. And Hulkenberg will just about give us the room. We're going to squeeze him out a little bit, but he's having none of it. He's still on my outside there. But eventually, we squeeze him out, and he has to literally give up the position. But uh, we're now hunting down Danny Cavio, who's in the lead of the race, and he's just ahead of us here. And we've got a yellow flag for some reason. And I think it's my teammate, actually. So Grosjean, yes, he is. There he is. He's out of the race, I think. So... Grosjean out of the Grand Prix after starting from second place and he was a lap down so he's had a horrific Austrian Grand Prix in terms of the Sundays so a horrible race for him but let's try and catch Danny Kvyat now. Oh I think Kvyat's into the pit lane, yes he is. So Kvyat pits just before the rainfall so we're going to inherit the race C once again but uh, crucially we're literally by ourselves in this race so we just got to try and cruise to the flag and take it nice and smooth this race and not worry too much and uh, just to reiterate this is an ultimate AI before anyone starts saying in the comments we've just driven a absolutely perfect race in terms of strategy right it's time for our pit stop and we're going to come in for intermediates so we're just going to take it nice and easy we're, we've got no one around us so just a nice smooth pit entry here just have no problems whatsoever and try and take it nice and easy get all slowed down for the pit entry there nice and easy and uh, hopefully within the right core I think it's perfect timing for wets or sorry intermediates the tracks are starting to get a little bit slippy you know what I mean so um, I think it's perfectly timed Hamilton stand out for one more lap but uh, I just don't feel the grips there maybe I'm on more, much more worn tyres than obviously slower tyres but I just feel like the track's ready for intermediates so that's exactly what we're going to do right now I'm just going to try and have a nice easy pit exit here as you can see just trying to take it nice and smoothly make sure we try and keep our front wing in one piece because this pig is one of the most tricky ones on the calendar but uh, we're going to be joined just behind Alonso here so this is going to be a good reference point for us to see if we made the right call or not onto these tyres. The RS has just been disabled so I think we have made the right call we've had a great run on Alonso through the corner and we should be able to get past him fairly soon if we just get the traction out of this corner here. Let's have a look see what the traction Alonso gets compared to us and uh, yeah, look at that. Look at the grip difference that we've got. We're losing the back end a little bit, but we've got so much more traction and grip through the corners than Alonso. And it's only going to get more in our favor. So there we go. Make the move up the inside. And we can now push on these tires. And here we go, we're going to re-overtake all the cars that we have to pass to retake the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. And we've now got to just try and bring it home in these conditions. This is going to be a really tense final lap. Lewis Hamilton has caught me up and here he comes. He's going to try and make a move into the first corner. I'm going to try and squeeze him here. Can we try and just hold on to the lead on this last lap of the race? Hamilton makes the move up the inside. Akashi Kashi's right rear. Can we try and race him into turn two? We don't want to lose the lead here. Let's try and go up the inside possibly of turn two. I'm going to give it everything it takes on the brakes and try and go up the inside of him here. Try and break as as we possibly can. Can we make it stick? Stick our nose in. We lock up the right front. Side by side action through turn two. We've made it stick for now. And we're just ahead of Hamilton for the time being. Okay, I think we've got it. We should just about be okay. Hamilton's going to try and go to the outside. 
He's going to run out very wide though, and we're just going to hold the inside. It's too wet on that part of the track, and we should be okay. Coming through the final corner, our first race of being permanently an Ultimate AI, and we're going to come home to win the Austrian Grand Prix, and what a race, and what a result that was. And I'm actually quite pleased I managed to emulate the race I just tried to record before, but my game actually crashed. So um, a really, really good race there, and a race win for us, and what a result. Our second win of the season, and third podium of the season. So so an incredible result there and what a race. I, literally, I could not express how happy I am. That race was absolutely fantastic and I'm so glad that turned out the way it did. I'm just trying to think, is it actually our third race win of the season? Did we win? Mon I think we won Monaco in China. So it's actually our third race win. So what a result that was and a massive 25 points. And we're actually going to extend, believe it or not, our World Drivers Championship lead. So absolutely unbelievable. Surely some teams have got to be sniffing around me to try and give me a possible contract offer. But at the same time, we could be in line to really bring some massive developments for this Haas car. We are the fourth best car on the grid now and we've, if we want to push for that top three we need to try and bring some massive upgrades in one massive bunch. So um, who knows maybe for the next race in Silverstone might try and bring something just for the home fans in my home race but uh, overall a solid 25 points for the Austrian Grand Prix. And here are the final race results. And as you can see, we win the race just one tenth ahead of Lewis Hamilton with Sebastian Vettel running off the podium with Danny Kvyat in a brilliant fourth place there. And crucially, we beat our rival Daniel Ricciardo who came home P5 and obviously Grosjean retired from the race. So that's going to be good for the driver rivalry. But uh, Fernando Alonso there finishing in P6. Great result from McLaren Honda. And also Nico Hulkenberg up in P7 with Kevin Magnussen getting a point for, for Renault Formula 1 team. But uh, looking at the Drivers' Championship, you can see that we are nine points clear of Lewis Hamilton in the World Drivers' Championship and 10 points clear of Sebastian Vettel. And we've actually got 27 points over Nico Rosberg. So right now, we're in very good shape in the World Drivers' Championship. And our teammate Roman Grosjean slipping down the order down to P14 there. But uh, we're going to move into the Constructors finally. And you can see that we are still in a solid P4. And who knows, maybe if we bring a couple of solid, upgrade, solid, solid upgrades and uh, Grosjean picks up his game, who knows, we could potentially challenge for that top three in the Constructors. And maybe we may not have to settle for fourth place this season in the Constructors. But uh, over of that has been the Austri Austrian Grand Prix and we're now going to move into the final part of the video. So there we have it guys, that was the Austrian Grand Prix, a pretty incredible race, one of my best ones on this game, if not the best race, and managing to win the race on Ultimate AI, absolutely incredible stuff, but as you can see, I'm going to leave you guys with the resource points, and uh, how things look after the next race, we do lose the rivalry to Daniel Ricciardo for the second time, however he's going to be our rival for the next time, for the third time, so we need to try and beat him at least once, but uh, crucially I want to tell you guys that um, we're going to be bringing a little upgrade for Silverstone, and that is going to be the drag I believe, so it's the fifth one on, the, or sorry, the fifth tier on the actual upgrades page and this is going to bring us pretty much on par with Ferrari We're using all of our resource points and the only reason I'm doing this upgrade is because I want to be as fast as possible for the home race in Silverstone to try and put on a show for the fans and you'll see that upgrade in a moment but as you can see we're still solid and easily the first and the best driver in the team at the moment and here you guys you can see we're going to get the streamlined suspension arms as the next upgrade in Silverstone but nevertheless guys hopefully you did enjoy the video and if you have then please do leave a massive thumbs up on the video and if you're new on here please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also guys I'll see you tomorrow for our next video another 100% race at Monza for last to first but hopefully you did enjoy the video and I'll see you in my next one very soon goodbye